Hello everybody, welcome to Panzer Corps Gold, the Allied Campaign. We are fighting in North Africa against the Axis forces. And if you saw our previous scenario, the Cauldron, we had some success. But elsewhere on the front, it was all the Axis victories. They pushed back our forces over the last two weeks and are now threatening Cairo. We've drawn a line in the sand, the small town of El Alamein. The German forces will be throwing everything they can at us. We can't let them through. If they get past us, they'll capture Cairo and the entire front will collapse. It's up to us. We're going to dig in and get the job done. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Battle of El Alamein. There are two El Alamein battles in here. The first one is uh, the a defensive battle, where, as we mentioned in the intro, the Axis forces are pushing us back and we have to hold. We've driven the proverbial line, drawn the proverbial line in the sand. And let's take a look. It's a rather large battlefield. You can see we have the coast along the northern edge of the map, the road that passes along right near that coast, and then a big swath of desert to contend with. Now, our forces are on the southeast corner of the map. You can see we've kind of lined them up across from, you know, roughly at a, from that northeast to the southwest corner of the map. That's our deployment positions. And the rules for the scenario are relatively simple. Here, this little town we can see is El Alamein. We must hold that. If we hold that, we get a victory. To get a triumphant victory, that decisive victory, we have to hold that and three other objectives. There are five, four others on the, well, five others here. So there's two airfields behind El Alamein here. Then there's these two other random points in the desert. And then off here, where this first British infantry brigade is, is stationed, is this little hill in the sand. That's our other point. Now, I'm thinking, of course, we'd probably want to hold El Alamein. We have to hold El Alamein. But I'm thinking to get the triumphant victory, we want to hold these two airfields and one others. I have a feeling there's going to be just tons of stuff chucked at us. So I've gone roughly with us kind of spread out in a thin line at the moment. I don't quite know where they're coming from, what's coming, and how heavy and how hot it's going to be. But we can expect a lot of stuff to get thrown at us, from aircraft to German panzers to infantry to ar I mean, it's, go it's all going to come. And I'm not sure if we're going to be able to save this unit out here. I don't know if we go first or the Germans go first. You can see these three German units surrounding this unit. If we have time to get them out, I don't know if we're going to try to pull out and save them. I guess it kind of depends on who goes first here. I assume because they're on the offensive, they'll go first. We do have a new commander as well. Let's welcome aboard Zach. Zach's Raiders here. He is in our fourth recon, has taken over command of the fourth recon unit. So up in the north here, we have Parkera's first armor, uh, 14th Heaven Weapon Infantry, and various. We'll kind of introduce them. Here's Custard's ninth air in the northern part of it. Zach's fourth recon is here. Nice Vid's commandos are stationed right in the front point here. Greenhouse commanders are here. We did load them up with trucks and we have an airfield here. So if we need them to deploy by air, we could bring them back to this airfield and send them up if it makes sense. But not thinking of that right now. JJ's armor right in the middle of the line. Flaky's down here in the south. I wanted the faster armor down here. Goose's recon on this southwest corner. Likewise, the 17th armor, which has yet to have a container a commander, is on the southwest corner of our thing. And then Jock's 6th infantry dug in in these hills here. So let's get started we'll probably play through the first couple turns in this battle we are set here germans move first and here they come Oof, minus four minus three we've taken some casualties now this unit interesting oh yeah they, they had a chance <laughs> oh my goodness everything's coming here lots of stuff here we go now we have some armor we have some artillery that we can bring to bear on these. We have a new... Oh, also, we did get a new unit, the 19th Tactical Bomber. I decided to go for a tactical air because I figured the mobility would help us. Wasn't quite sure which way to take it, but I decided that might be a good one to go. Now, I want to be a little bit cautious because we don't want to get drawn out here. I think, though, it makes sense to kind of contract our lines a little bit. So I think that'll be our general strategy here. Let's start doing that. Nice vids can hit them pretty hard. So can our aircraft, though. Okay, let's get busy here, huh? So let's have our artillery, the 15th artillery, pound this. Can we surround this unit? No, we don't dare. We don't want to extend ourselves to surround the unit. That would be a little bit crazy here. I'd like to send our aircraft up because they can probably see what's going on a little bit past this, too. So let's bring Custard's Air up right over this infantry and see. Actually, let's send Custard's Air over this armored unit and hit that. Then we should be able to see a little bit past it there. 
Minus two. Good. Deal some damage. Get any sights on anything else? Nope. Okay. So they, we know there's German units down here in this strong point that they just took. We can see that a little bit. That's good. Let's send our tactical bombers. The 11th, which is pretty strong. Let's have them hit this infantry. I think we can hit everything here, right? So if we get any spotting on it. Minus six. Oh, that was a heavy hit. That was nice. We still can't see past them. I don't know how important visibility is past. That's my big thinking right now is do we want to push forward a little bit so we can see past this vanguard of the German troops? Or do we want to kind of sit and try to hold our formation here? I'm thinking we want to hold and squish northeast a little bit. So with that in mind, let's send this tactical air and hit this armored unit. Minus five. Nice kill. Wow. Welcome to the war. First engagement and its first kill. Most excellent. Now, this armored, f this artillery should fire. Then we can have Greeno's paratroopers finish him off, I think. Sounds like a plan to me. Nice. Minus one. Does it turn him yellow? It turns him red. Excellent. This should finish them off. And then Greeno can move after that. Good. So, a rather strong start in terms of we destroyed everything we see. But I'm a little bit concerned that we're going to get stuff coming down this road, too. So let's slide northeast here. I'm trying to figure out how we want to make a line, too. But let's, these are our defensive points here. So let's go... Actually, yeah, let's go one here. Send Greeno one there. Let's pull this artillery back here. We want to finish this unit off, too. So let's send the 17th armor up here to finish them off. Be a little bit exposed, but that's okay. Minus one? What the heck? Was... <laughs> Garbage. Need Goose to finish him off. He's going to lose a point. Mm. Oh, wait. Answer could be... I would like to send them spotting, though. Hmm, interesting. I'm, I'm thinking that we could save this other... Our 10th air could come up here and spot a little bit to get an idea for what's coming. I'd rather have them, and then we'll send Goose to destroy him, because Goose can move twice, I think. So I think he can go finish him off, and then come back. Let's send this air to the edge of what we can see. Anything else coming? Nope. Nothing. Quiet so far. All right. Let's have, can we send Flaky's armor up there? That should finish him off. Let's do that kind of extending ourselves the wrong way but flaky gets a kill nice that i think ties flaky had 35 kills if i'm not mistaken parkera had 36 so that would break make them even in the kill category now let's move our recon up a little bit they have great spotting oh here we go now we can see what's coming okay we got anti artillery that's artillery there Let's, s I hate to slide this infantry out of there, but we have too big of a hole. We just kind of have to. I'd like to see them entrench more. But no, we're going to do it. Move up there. Move here. Good. Okay, and they have all moved. They can't move again. I want to make sure we get them back. Let's bring our artillery back in behind here. That'll work. Goose's commando, Goose's recon can move one more turn. Let's do that. We have this recon, which can spot. What's its spotting range on this, I wonder? Just to see how far we can go. So spotting range of range of three. Where is it? I never can find spotting range. Now how many times do I look for it? Three. Okay. Let's pull it up. It can come back. So let's pull it up just a little bit. See if it can see anything. Oof. Yeah, no kidding. 27th Martyr. And now it can come back. We could be bold. Nope, we're going to leave them right there. We're going to pull this anti-air unit forward here. Leave this artillery where it is. And that's good there too. I think we are good. We could move this up and hit them. Minus four. I kind of like that. JJ second armor being a little aggressive. Take the edge off that unit. Let's do it. Minus four. Excellent. No damage, please. Good. Nice. 
And then we'll fall that, we'll bring that armor back, I think, behind our line on the next turn. So maybe we can have our infantry kind of lined up and then have the armor just kind of poke through and do some counterattacking, kind of hide and jab, you know, like the ancient Spartans used to do. The guys with the shields and the spears would stick out and get the other guys. That's kind of what we're doing. Infantry will be the shield and our armor will be the spears. That sounds like a great plan that probably won't work at all. But I think that's good enough for the first turn. Okay, let's see what they're going to do. Some units have not moved yet. Yeah, we know that. It's okay. Oof, here they come down the road through the desert. They didn't attack. Oh, good. Artillery defended. Oh, minus three. Recon. Okay, artillery hits our armor. Problem. By the way, before this match, turn two is coming up. Okay, I'm going to take a second here, but just to kind of elaborate a little bit. Before this match, we had so much prestige that I did... Um, what happens in the game, if you're not familiar with it, is units get experience. They can have any way up to, I think, a maximum of 500 points of experience. And for each point, each 100 points of experience, you can add on before the campaign starts, or even during it, you can add on extra strength of attack. So you can see that, for example, JJ's armor has a strength of 13 right now. So I spent prestige before this battle to bring them from a 10, which was the max up to the 13th with 13 which matched their 300 and something experience points so that helps in terms of uh, giving us overstrength units at the beginning the problem is that during the campaign bringing them back to overstrength like that is really expensive it costs a lot of prestige so we want to kind of want to be careful of losing that edge those units have and at the same time realizing that that's pretty expensive to do but we have so much prestige right now that i felt comfortable doing it Okay, so let's think about what we want to do here, and then we will dig right in. Okay, let's try some things. I'm not at all confident in, in generally what I'm doing here for this defense thing, but we'll give it a try anyway. And, and just to kind of, one more reminder as we continue on, the, we're playing through the whole campaign. We get three mulligans. So if we, if for example, in the real game, if you lose in this, you're dismissed from the war, it's campaign over. But we're going to give ourselves three mistakes. So at the end of any three battles, we can say, we don't like that outcome, we can restart. If we have to do that past our third time, once we've used up our third mulligan, then we lose, it's game over, and the campaign and the series ends. So far, we haven't used any up, and we've been able to get the triumphant victories so far. But I think they're getting harder. They definitely feel like they're getting harder. Okay, um, we're going to take our 11th tactical and try to bring to bear on this artillery here. That will give us a little bit more spotting, too. Minus seven. Excellent. Good. And, oh, wow, more stuff coming at us. I do expect air to come soon, too. So we want to be a little bit careful of that. Now, we've got this tactical bomber here. Could hit that one, which looks pretty tough at minus four. Let's do that. Minus three. Okay, it's not bad. That's a pretty good start. And I think our artillery can only fire on this. So let's do that. Maybe it'll reduce it. it turns it red. Very good. Let's send Greeno's Commandos after it. Should we do that? Actually, let's hold there and let's come up here. Let's slide this forward one and fire on this armored car coming up. Minus two. Excellent. Then we're going to send the spear out behind the line of shields. Parkera's first armor. Surprise! Finish him off, Parkera. Minus seven. He doesn't. Oh, he misses that kill. That's not so good. All right, we can send our 10th air up here to hit this artillery and that will spot a little bit more. Let's do that. Minus one. Good, just to let him know we're here. Oh, oh, that's gonna hurt. That's an 88. And it's got a range of two. 10th air is gonna take heavy casualties. God, that's what we get for scouting with the fighters sometimes, huh? And heavy armor coming down. Here we go. It's coming right down this channel. So I think it's time for us to pull this armor and some of our forces. Just crunch them up a little bit more to the north here. Let's have uh, Nice Vid's commandos finish off this armored car. Good. Nice. Nice kill for them. No casualties suffered. Let's see if Greenos, they probably can't finish it off. We can have... Uh, I want to bring JJ's armor down here to finish off this martyr. Those are tough to beat. Leaves them in front, but we're going to do it. Minus three. Uh, minus one. We suffered casualties. Darn it. And it escaped. Okay, let's send Greeno's paratroopers up there to get the kill. Finish it. No. Ugh. Aggravating. 
Okay, let's bring our artillery in behind it. And it already fired. This one already fired. Darn it. Okay, we have one last thing we can do here. This fighter can come over here and hit it. Let's try that. I want to kill that unit. There it is. Custard picks up the kill and wipes out the martyr. Good. Okay, our forces are a little bit scattered here. But I think that's okay. Five to one. Okay, we're going to bring... The 17th armor here, only minus two on that infantry. Interesting. Minus three if it hits it from there. What about the recon? Five to one. Hmm. Okay. Let's slide Jock's 6th infantry up into this line a little bit. Let's pull the artillery here. I hate to pull them out of that hills, but I think we're going to need to. Now, let's have Flaky 7th armor hit this. Oh, minus seven. Nice. Good. Puts a big hit on that. That'll slow it down. And then come on east, Flaky. Good. I think we're going to have to hold one, two, three. We'll have to draw a line right here. Maybe give up this point for now. I, I, I mean, at a certain point in time, they have to run out of firepower if we keep destroying stuff. Although it's a long way until that happens, I think. Let's go up here and see if we can finish off this artillery. We're going to see if the 17th armor... Good. Artillery gone. Excellent. Is there anything past that, I wonder? Nope, there isn't. Okay, so we got infantry and motorcycles coming from the southwest. We've got everything coming here. There's probably more up there, too. Wow, this is going to get ugly fast, isn't it? They have not moved, but there's not much we can do with them. Let's, since they're sitting here, let's give them elite replacements and resupply them. Might as well. And they have fought. They moved. Okay. Done their thing. Goose's recon could come up here and hit this unit and pull away. Five to one. I don't think so. Let's... Let's let them come to us. I feel like we're doing okay there. We don't want to go up there. Minus two to five. Minus five to one. Ah, oh, that 88 is going to kill our aircraft. Let's just go there. They've moved. They're good. That spot in the desert is gone. We've extended out a little bit here with the 17th armor too, haven't we? Okay. They can move, but I think they're good where they are. We gotta straighten this line out next turn for sure, because they're coming hard and fast. We definitely want our infantry in the front. And definitely if we can get them to start digging in too. We've got armor scattered around here. We're kind of a mess. And that aircraft is gonna get ah, oh, that tenth air is gonna get hit. Alright, I think we're good here. Let's go to the next turn. Oh, here comes the air. Minus one on our seventeenth armor. Here comes more armor. Oh, minus four on air. That's expensive. Okay. I think we got time. Let's think about it. I think we got time for one more turn here. Things are starting off relatively slow. They resupplied. Minus six to nothing for a tactical air. Let's take this aircraft out for sure. God, that was hit hard. Oh, but it was over strength, so it's still a ninth strength. So functionally, it's still pretty good. We just got to keep it away from that anti-aircraft unit. That's going to be a bear. Okay. Let's see what we can do. This German infantry has moved right into the line of fire. We've got some Italian armor up here. I wonder what's behind it. I have to think there's more stuff coming. Interestingly enough, that armor didn't move. They're letting the Italians go first. <laughs> Char, you guys go. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's. I'll think for a second here. All right, let's do a few things that we know what we're going to do. First of all, let's have this uh, tactical air, our 11th tactical, hit these Italian fighters here. Six to zero, it looks like. Minus three. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, but that's fine. Now it's gone, so let's bring it back here because we can resupply it. So we'll keep it in action. So that's good. Then we have Custard's air over here. Let's wipe this aircraft out. Pull him back over here and see if we can hit him. Excellent. There's another kill for Custard. Three turns. I think he's got two or three kills already. Perfect. So then our armor really only has one attack option, which is to hit this infantry. Let's do it. Minus three. Don't lose anything. Good. And now let's let's wait on the move because we might be able to pull back here. Flaky's armor. Let's get them. Cool. We could come up there. Oh, that would be a devastating attack. We don't want that. We'd get crushed there. 
Let's think on Flaky here for a second. I think I like our infantry line as it is for the moment. Let's pull, however, our anti-air back here. Let's pull our artillery up here and have them fire on this infantry. That's a pretty easy decision. And let's have this artillery fire on this infantry. That's an easy decision. It's the only thing it can hit. This one is resupplied and it can... 6 out of 6 for ammo. It can fire on that infantry as well. That's the only thing it can hit. Fire. <laughs> Nothing. That's rather lame. Okay. Very well. We have this tactical bomber that can hit that infantry. Let's do it. I, I'm a little bit leery of bringing it up there because of those 88s. I'm going too far forward, so let's go here with it. Oh, that was... Uh, Oh, that was Green Nose Commandos. They didn't want to do that. I wanted the air to go. Dummy. Ugh. Okay. I don't want them to move. We could send them over here and hit them. That would leave our artillery exposed in the front. We don't really have enough troops to make a front line, which is kind of frustrating. But let's have Goose's Recon come over here. Quick like a bunny. And wipe that out. Good. Nice. And it should be able to pull back. Fine, go there. Good. Let's send Parkeris first at a jab up here. See if we can hit this Italian armor. Minus six. Good. No damage. Excellent. Is there anything else up there? Nope. Okay. So that's pretty good. That weakened that a little bit. Okay, we're doing okay. We have JJ's second armor can move. Let's bring them out and see if we can wipe that artillery, uh, Italian artillery out. That would leave this artillery exposed, though. Hmm. We can bring that recon up. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to bring JJ's second armor. Jab. Wipe out that Italian armor. Excellent. Another kill for JJ. Very good. And that leaves this exposed. Let's bring our recon up. Oh, hang on one second. Let's undo that move. Let's change him to infantry and then bring him up there. Good. Now, nah, haha. Thinking, finally. Because recon can switch between infantry or they kind of must be like Lego trucks. They put them together and then they can just drive through the desert. So, because we might need more infantry for this, especially packing him in behind these artillery units here. So, up here. Okay, we have Flaky's armor. What could it do? It could come up here and hit that and wipe that infantry out. Let's do it. Let's kind of stay out here on the edge and let's take that risk. Let's jab a little bit. Nice. Flaky picks up a kill. That's his second kill of the battle. And now we can pull the 17th armor back into this line. They have moved our aircraft. This tactical bomber has yet to move. That's the one I wanted to move. We know there's some stuff down here. We just don't know where it is. We could get lucky. We could also see what's down here. Let's do it. Anything there? Ah, there we go. Oh, they resupplied to 10. Wow, they got a lot of supplies, I bet, for this offensive. And lastly, we have this aircraft. Let's fire on that artillery, minus one, and then let's get it back to the base here because we're going to resupply it and give it more gas, too. Okay. So, I think everything's moved. This infantry hasn't moved. Eighth Engineers, that's Jock's Infantry. They haven't moved. Nit Nice Vids stays where it is. The 14th Heavy Weapons is dug into El Alamein. We got armor in front of it. Expecting more hard stuff. I'm expecting some stuff to come out of this dark cloud there. We've got a pretty good spot down here, and we know we need to stay away from that 88. Cost us four units of air. That was a heavy casualties, but stuff happens, right? All right, let's see what the Germans do. Some units have not moved yet. Yes. Here they come. Nice, they're attacking Greeno's paratroopers. Minus three, minus one. Oof, wish they were dug in. Oh, Greeno's paratroopers are out of, out of ammunition already. What the heck? Okay, here comes more stuff, and that's where we'll stop today, I think. That's a pretty good start for us. So what do we got here? We got some, oh, that's, that's our artillery armor, the M40s. Italian armor up here. Put a heavy hit on Greeno's troops. We'll have to pull them back and get them resupplied. And we got motorcycle troops coming down here, bearing in on our 8th Engineers. But I think we should be able to deal with them with the armor here. We've got tactical bombers in there. We'll resupply our aircraft, refuel our aircraft. I'm trying to think we can just kind of recycle our aircraft all the time so they just kind of can stay engaged in the battle the whole time. But 
I'm sure there's a lot more to come, but that's not a bad start. If you've liked this episode, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing. We'll be back on Friday for the second part of this first battle of El Alamein. Thanks so much for watching. If you have, for watching, if you have tips and suggestions, I'd love to hear them too. But cautiously, I, I, I don't think this really means much. I feel like this is the, the start. <laughs> so I think there's going to be a lot more coming. But uh, so far, so good. See you all on Friday. Take care, everybody. Bye.